Hello everybody, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's all the lovely flowers from Art Gallery. And I have stamped and cut out all these little flowers here, plus the greens. And I did it all in Purple Posy. But this time I'm going to do it in Papaya. What's that? Pale papaya. So I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and I have another piece at four and no five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. But that seems awfully short. That's all right. It's not all right if I'm giving you the wrong measurements. No, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And this one is so six inches. This is six inches. So let's now I'll just leave it at six inches. No, I can't leave it at six inches. It's annoying me. We'll cut it where it's supposed to be. Five and seven eighths. That's better. Oh, this chair is doing my head in. Anyway, that's what we've got. I've got scraps to do some more flowers. And I've got a bit of ribbon. This idea actually came from Pinterest. And the lady you or person used ribbon with papaya, but I don't have any ribbon. But I've got this. And what I did, I coloured it in. So that's what we'll do. We'll colour it in with the uh, blend pens. So that I also used um, a stencil. Oh, you can't see. It. Yeah, you could just about see it on that edge there. So we'll stencil that in as well when we need to. Now I have cut out a few flowers, not a lot here, where are they all? Where's all my flowers gone? Hang on, they must be on the side. Hmm. There's definitely a lot of flowers missing because I cut out a half. I knew there was some missing. Right. I've already cut out a load of flowers and greenery. Don't need no more greenery, but I do need another set of flowers. So with my flower stamp and pale papaya we're going to ink this up and stamp that down and then with bumblebee we're going to put in the Middles like that. And then we cut them out. Now there is an easier way of doing this. 
and that's cut them out with your die and then just detach them from the die which I did with that lot there but for those of you who haven't got a die you can fussy cut them just like that Last one. There we are. Get rid of that. And that's just got some more flowers. Right, now we need to do our stenciling. Now this is the Plenty of Pattern stencil. There is a new stencil in the August-December catalogue coming out soon. Which I've ordered. I do like stencils. Right, and we only need, have I got the right way? Yeah. We only need to do just this bit. We don't need to do it all. So that, and pale papaya. I am just going to just lightly stencil. That bit. That's all I'm doing. No more. And now it's time to arrange the flowers. Now with these, I am going to follow the card I've done. So I want a green one and a green leaf. And then preferably one with now I have also done some darker ones. That's a dark one we have up here. Um, and that is uh, Mango Melody with uh, what's that? Bumblebee. Mango Melody with Bumblebee, that's what that one is. Right, that one. Then we're going to add another green. And then we want a Bumblebee. Just filling these in. There's the one with the flowers on. As usual, way too many. And 
you get the picture, we just add them all in where we can. Down that side, in a bit, but down that side. So, let's get gluing. Helps if you can pick them up. So we're going to put that there. I'm only gluing the bottom of each flower just in case I want to add one in. But I'm not going to put the leaves on straight away. I shall put them on afterwards. This dark one and this pale one. And now we add our greenery. Not very straight, is it? Take these two off. Move them over a bit. We've got any more leisure? One more. Right, as you can see, I still have plenty left. Oh, not very straight, is it? Let's see if I can straighten this out a bit. Yeah, add that one. Over there. That's a bit better. Right, next we got to glue this to our base. And 
and get some ribbon. Now what we're going to do with this ribbon is, I'm sure I've got, what's petal pink? paper and some ribbon. Now you don't need much ribbon, all we're going to do is just make a, like that, about that size, oh, a bit bigger. Yeah. Cut it off and we're going to colour it in. says and just Sure, it's all coloured in, and now we have our papaya ribbon. And papaya fingers. So, and then we'll just fold that over, and we're going to stick that there. But before we do that, we'll get some glue dots to keep it in place. So, I'm going to stick a glue drop there. So that when I fold it over, that stays. And then One on the end there. A little bit bigger than the other one, but that doesn't matter. Let's see if I can get rid of these fray bits. And that is going to sit there with our birthday wishes on top. which looks quite nice and I'm just going to stick this on with glue dots. I am not putting dimensionals on it. another glue dot just inside here that's it now we have to put glue dots on the outside to help stick it to the card And we're going to pop that down just there. That's 
that's it. Mm. That's it. That's more secure. I don't know the last time I used glue dots apart from this card. Right then, now we're going to add some silver gems. I think I will. Two, four, five. Right. We're going to have two here, one here, one here, and one here. Should have put gold with this colour. Never mind. Silver sticks out a bit more. And that is my card for today. Hope you like it. I didn't do nothing inside. Did I do anything inside this? No, I put, did put a white piece in. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.